honestly I shouldn't Caught up in my feelings Messed up and I'm sprung Something in your smile that it makes me wanna go Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel I wanted to sit down with you today to discuss some of my favorite podcasts and audiobooks that I've been using to help me stay motivated throughout hashtag quarantine life. So, welcome to episode four of my hashtag quarantine life series. I personally got into podcasts and audiobooks probably about three or four years ago. I, before quarantine life, was a super busy girl. I had lots of things going on throughout the day. I had lots of places to be, people to see, and reading an actual book was not on my list. <laughs> I think that's kind of how it is for everybody these days. So being able to get my learning in, being able to get my motivation in through either a podcast or an audiobook has been a really great resource. And in doing so, I've also developed some of my favorites that I wanna share with you today. So even though we don't have crazy busy lives these days where we have to get from one place to the next, it's still a really great thing to have if you're wanting to put on a podcast while you're cleaning the house, put on a podcast in the morning just to get you excited for your day, throw on an audiobook while you're getting ready for the day, anything like that to put you in the right headspace to really conquer your goals and really move forward with what you need to get done. So my very first podcast I want to share with you today is called The Final Percent with Greg Kimball. And if you guys know me and have been following me for a while, you know that I'm actually a part of the brand The Final Percent, so I might be a little bit biased. But Greg has a great podcast, he's got a great message, and his whole concept behind The Final Percent is achieving what's called the exponential part of life. And he's been doing a lot of content surrounding the quarantine right now, a lot of content surrounding what's going on with the world right now and how you can use it as a motivator to get inspired and excited about about what you want to do with your life and he's also a really great friend of mine but he's got a great podcast out there and I will make sure to link his podcast below just so that you guys can follow him he's doing a lot of content right now and I think you guys will really like it so the second podcast I want to share with you today is actually called The Health Code. And The Health Code is actually a podcast that was started by one of the YouTubers that I follow, Sarah's Day. I love her content. I already mentioned her in my very first video that I put on YouTube. She's super funny, super Australian, super awesome, and I really love following her content. She and her boyfriend, Kurt, actually put out this podcast and it's super entertaining. Not only do they talk about concepts that are really going to help you with staying entertained during isolation or keeping yourself productive or home workouts or things like that, but they're also super funny to listen to and they've been doing some really long podcasts these days just to, because they can. Everybody's just listening to long podcasts because it doesn't really matter anymore. But Sarah's Day is a really great person to follow just in general and I think you all would really enjoy her content if you enjoy my content. So be sure to check out The Health Code, it's so amazing. Okay, so the third podcast I wanna share with you today is actually called Full of Joy by Francesca Borman. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a fan of joy, and the whole reason I even became such a proponent of finding joy in your life is actually because of this podcast. I think Francesca has a really great message, and she can tell she's very thought out in her podcast, which I actually really admire, just because I'm very thought out and I really try and do everything as best as I possibly can, and you can tell she has that same mindset. But her story behind finding joy and implementing it into her life has been so inspiring to me and I think you guys will enjoy her too so be sure to check her out I'll link her in the description as well okay there are plenty more podcasts out there but there's one more that I want to share with you today and that is actually living fully with Mallory Irvin Mallory is also another youtuber I follow and she is just so genuine you can tell she's just got such a great personality and she cares so much about her community and what she's trying to do with her mission and her purpose that she's putting out on YouTube. And it's just so fun to watch. She's got two kids, she's got a great husband, everything that she's trying to do has a great message behind it. And her podcasts are actually the most vulnerable content that she puts out there and they're a joy to listen to. This is a big one that I listen to as well. She puts out new podcasts every Monday and I am the first one to listen because I think they're so great. Okay, now that we've covered podcasts, I wanna move into audiobooks. Like I mentioned, nobody has time to read a book these days, so why not listen to it? I personally use the app Audible. It works really well for me, and I'm gonna show you some of my top picks for keeping you motivated during quarantine. So I'm pretty sure my favorite author of all time is probably Mel Robbins, and if you guys don't know who she is, 
you have to go follow her content. You have to go hear her message. She is such an inspiration. She's so relatable and she's perfect for what we're going through during this time. And the number one book I would recommend from her for you guys to listen to is called The Five Second Rule. So The Five Second Rule is basically a concept that you can implement into your life to stop thinking, stop overanalyzing, and just do what you need to do. And this is a huge thing for us in quarantine right now when we have a lot more time on our hands, but sometimes we feel a little less motivated to get those things done that we actually need to because our headspace is so out of whack. So if you have these goals and you have dreams and big things that you wanna accomplish in this life, but maybe quarantine is a reason to hold you back right now, the five second rule is gonna be perfect for what you need to implement to be able to take action on those things today. Five second rule is basically counting down five, four, three, two, one, and start. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Make forward movement in any capacity on what you need to get done, whether that's cleaning the microwave, whether that's cleaning up your kitchen, whether that's doing the laundry, or whether that's starting a YouTube channel, whether that's making that phone call to a family member you haven't talked to in years. Five, four, three, two, one, do what you need to do and move forward in some capacity. This has changed my life and everybody around Around me who has read this book, it's a game changer and you guys will love it. The second audiobook I want to share with you today is called Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. So Brene Brown is actually an expert in the field of vulnerability. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Brene Brown is such an impactful woman. She's got so many things to say that are just so prevalent to what we're going through these days. And right now, everybody is in a very vulnerable state. Everybody's in a very interesting place in their life where we don't really know what's gonna happen and maybe some people are gonna see some flaws in us right now. Maybe some of those things that we didn't really want people to necessarily see all the time are gonna come out because everybody is feeling very vulnerable. But Brene Brown actually really puts it well in this book as to how you can capitalize on your vulnerability and really use it to your advantage to help push you forward in life. I think Brene is an incredible author. She's got some great content and I really think you guys should check her out. Another audiobook I want to share with you today is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Regardless of your political views and regardless of what you believe, Michelle Obama actually has a really great story and she's actually become a huge role model for me. This is a long book, a long book as in I think it's like 19 hours of content, but her story is incredible. She's like goals for becoming a woman in the industry, a woman, a powerful woman that can really lead herself and lead others around her. So impactful for me. After I finished that book, I felt like I was moved to go do something greater. So check out Becoming by Michelle Obama. She's got some great things to say. She's got a really good insight as to what things really looked like when her husband was president. So I think you guys will find that really interesting as well. And it's just a good read. It's really interesting. It's a long book and it'll keep you excited. The last book I want to share with you guys today is actually not an audiobook, but this is actually a really great book you can use within your morning routine, and it's called All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols. So Morgan Harper Nichols actually has a really cool story, and I actually initially heard about her on Mallory Irvin's podcast. That's how I heard about her whole message. And Morgan Harper Nichols was originally just doing music and wanted to tell her story through songs, but also did visual art as well. And one of the things that she's been doing within her Instagram page, she'll create her own art on her iPad and alongside it will create a poem that's really relevant to today. I think it's really cool to see people doing poetry even in today's day and age. It might seem like an older concept, but the fact that she's applying it to today and creating poems that are so prevalent to what we are going through is actually really cool to see. So this entire book is filled with her art as well as her poems that will depict today day and age, depict problems people are actually experiencing today. Check out her book, just read through a couple of the poems in the morning to feel inspired, to get you on track, to start your day the right way, and also follow her on Instagram. I'll put her handle right here. She's a great person to follow. She's got really motivational, inspiring content throughout your day. It gives you that little glimmer of light when you're scrolling through in your Instagram feed. This is something good that you can count on every time. So I really believe in Morgan Harper Nichols' vision behind what she's trying to do with this and I would love to turn you guys on to her as well because she's got a really cool platform. So that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. I've got plenty more books under my belt. I've got plenty more books I want to listen to during this time while we're
we're still on quarantine, so I'll make sure to update you guys if there's any more I think you should listen to. But we've got some cool content available to you guys. And podcasts, podcasts are free. Audiobooks, if you get the Audible app, is just a monthly subscription service fee. You guys will love these platforms, and this is going to be something that can really keep you inspired and motivated during this time. So I really encourage you to check those out. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please, please, please subscribe if you're new and tick the notification bell to make sure that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'm doing a lot of content during this hashtag quarantine life series. And please comment below any other videos that you want to see during this time to keep you inspired. Please like this video because it really supports my channel and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys. Honestly, I shouldn't.